You know, the theater is such a magical place where stories come to life and can take you to faraway places. And with a new theater to bring the community together, Playhouse in the Park is ready for their upcoming season. And so are we. We don't want to miss a thing. So today we're joined by artistic director Blake Robinson to tell us everything we need to know. Blake, yeah. it's great to see you. Good morning. So yeah. exciting. And I know that, uh, you know, with the new theater, all the excitement surrounding that, we waited so long for this new season. Tell us about the season opener. The season opener is called Ring of Fire. It's a musical biography of Johnny Cash. Oh boy. So a great, fun, popular way to open the season. We have five terrific actor musicians. They're gonna take you all the way through Johnny's career from his early days, uh, meeting with June, going to the Grand Old Opry, and even some of the later stuff when he started to collaborate with some pop stars and stuff like that. Great way to kick off the season. We'll be following that in the larger theater, the brand new theater that we mm -hmm. opened last March called Mo and Jack's Place, the Rouse Theater, uh, with a Pulitzer Prize winning play called Clyde's. It's a yeah. comedy about a bunch of ex-cons who are trying to uh, turn over the next chapter of their life in search of making the perfect sandwich in a diner nice. where they all really, really, really interesting. it's a fun, <laughs> fun, funny play. Uh, and then of course it's the return of our a big holiday production of Christmas Carol. Yeah. We've been on hiatus while we finished the theater last spring, but yeah. this being our first full season in the new facility, uh, everybody can look forward to making Christmas Carol part of their plans again. Well, you got to wow. have a, a big lineup there. I love all that. What is it like, though, being in the new facility? I'm just curious. I mean, it took a long time to, to, to happen, but now it's it's there. We've been working on it a long time, yeah. and we're so grateful to the community who turned out and supported us. Uh, we did some shows off-site for a while, and, of course, thousands and thousands of people donated their own money to build this new playhouse. Right. It is absolutely gorgeous. Game changer for the audience. It's comfortable. It's the most accessible arts facility in the city. You Beautiful. can get to all kinds yeah. of seats without going up or down any stairs at all. Yeah, look at those gorgeous yeah, comfortable yeah. seats. Look at that. Uh, better it. sight lines, better acoustics. And for us, backstage, complete game changer. Uh, we have theater technology, bells and whistles that we never had before, and you'll see that when you come to see the shows. That's incredible. Right. So, I mean, what else can we look forward to this season, Blake? Uh, after the holidays, we have a big new production of Dracula. Oh, uh, always oh. a fun one. Some people might say, why aren't you doing Dracula in October? Uh, but Dracula is always popular. Uh, and then we'll be following that with a wonderful play called The Chosen, uh, based on the famous Chaim Potek novel about two young Jewish boys growing up in Brooklyn. We got a whole slew of modern contemporary plays in our Rosenthal Shelter House Theater. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever you're into, you're going to find something in the Playhouse season. And I would urge people to call soon. There's so much excitement yeah. about reopening this facility, uh, oh, yeah. about not just the opening shows, uh, but some of the new plays as well. This is the best time to buy a season ticket and get that discount and secure your seats. So what are you looking forward to the most? You know, I always like to say, I'm looking forward to the next one, whatever <laughs> comes right. next. Uh, but I'll be honest, this, this production of Ring of Fire uh, is, is really something to behold. And this play Clyde's that I told you about, uh, it's important for the Playhouse to do, uh, you know, Pulitzer winning and nominated plays. Mm -hmm. uh, not everybody goes to New York to see theater. Uh, for many people, you get the Playhouse and the Ensemble Theater and the, and the Shakespeare Company, and, and we're it. Yeah. So right. uh, we encourage you to come out and try something new. Come see yeah. something that you may not have heard before, but it's going to be a wonderful discovery along the way. Well, I know that people watching right now want to get some more information, get some tickets. Where should they go to do that? Please? They should go to our website, which is cincyplay.com, uh, or you can always call our box office. We have a very friendly staff. You will get an actual human being on the phone. <laughs> Yay! Wow, I forgot what that's like. I know, but this is a great date night. I yeah. you gotta emphasize that, right? Oh, it's yeah. a fantastic date night. I've yeah. met people who started dating their partner years and years ago at the Playhouse. Aww. We've had proposals at the Playhouse. We've had weddings at the Playhouse, but uh, really, it's a great... It, we have a lot of shows you can bring a teenager to. Mm -hmm. If they're ready to come to that, you, they can come see Ring of Fire, Clyde's, Dracula, uh, Late Night Catechism, which is the fun comedy show in the shelter house uh, during the holiday season. But also, if you want to leave the kids at home, absolutely come spend a night together on us. We should All write right. a play about going to the playhouse. Absolutely. There you go. There you Probably go. Happen. We'll Beyond. make a musical out of anything. <laughs> I love it, Blake. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.